Hello everyone, I am Datu Tim and these are the Modern Ernest Minutes. If you like our channel and our content, please subscribe and like. Feel free to share. And now it's time for your Modern Ernest Minutes. Okay, so this episode of the Modern East Minutes will be a continuation of one that I filmed back in December. It's June right now. Um, so I don't have PG Craig with me, but I got my heavy bag. And uh, this bag is phenomenal. Uh, this is the brand new one I picked up from Century, uh, the XXL Wavemaster. Highly recommend using it. Even though it's not designed for this use, it does a great job. So you should beware. So, um, but if you don't have a bag, you can always use a tree and stuff like that. So I want to talk about the Sinwalis continuation of it because since we did the original filming, it was a modern East minute, and now we're doing minutes, taking however long it takes to describe the concept of what we're going through. So when we're doing the Sinwalis, as I said before, we're doing the angles of attack. And, you know, I, I, I mapped out all the angles, but really easy, what you're thinking of, you're doing a high X and a low X. During a similar, that's all of them. You're using both hands. So in modern, this is the number one, this is the number two. The backhand is number eight low, and the forehand is number nine. So if I was doing single Sinwali, it would be a right hand at one, a right hand at eight, a left hand at one, a left hand at eight, which is gonna be relevant in a minute. If I'm doing heaven six or the high redunda, they're all ones and twos. So a left one, right one, or right two, left two. One, two, two, one, two, two. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Once we start going, we keep alternating our hands for the basics and wise, but there's some times when we double up and do some stuff from there. So the sin wally that seems to be probably the weakest, and it's not just in modern, but in other systems, is the reverse or the, or the low six, or you may have also heard to it as referred to earth. So when we're doing double Sinwali, it's called also heaven earth, high, low, high, high, low, high, or six, one, two, three, four, five, six. The same thing here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's the, the low version of that, and then the heaven, the heaven, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all the same Sinwali. You just choose whether you point the stick up or down. But for some reason, when we do all down, people have a tendency of bending their back and it gets really sore. And I would talk to a professor about it, and. You know, he would describe as best he could with English being his third or fourth language. Um, but eventually it was like, it got through the point where it's like, hey, why are you bending over? You know, you don't bend over during the angles of attack and these are the angles of attack. Hmm. So, I had to think about that. So with this, we would do a, na, um, a nine, an eight, an eight. And people would be here like this. And I would mimic everyone, you know, because when I was I was the junior belt coming up, and then when I became the senior belt, that's when I would ask professor questions, and he helped straighten me out on a bunch of things. So why do we do this? I don't know, because it makes no sense. Because when I did eight and nine, or nine and eight, I didn't bend over. And if I did bend anywhere, you know, I'd bend my knees if I wanted to go lower. When I did single Sinwali, I'm not, here's that eight that we do in there. Nine, eight, eight, nine, eight, eight. Well, here's one and eight. I never, I didn't go here like this to do it here. So, why, why this happened? I have no clue, no clue at all. It did. So, how do we fix it? That's all that this is really about. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim somewhere around mid thigh, maybe knee, depending on the length of my stick, the height of my partner, stuff like that. But I like right, right in the thighs. So I'll go forehand, backhand, backhand. Chamber, forehand, back, and back. Now, I don't want a chamber separately. I want everything simultaneously, but if I'm teaching someone for the first time, I'd go, i go to our salutation, so our salute was here. So in this position, there we're right there. So I would do my chamber. One, two, three. Here's a chamber over here. 
So Professor's brother Ernesto would do a salutation there. Wow, that salutation just happens to be the chamber for the Sinwali. So I go in this position. I'm going from my right to the left, so the right hand goes first. One, two, three. I could chamber separately. I do the same thing. One, two, three. If I want to go lower, I drop my base here. One, two, three. One, two, three. But I'm striking, using the sticks, striking the angles of attack. When I do the angles of attack, I'm not bending my knees. So why do I do it in the Sinwali? That's the question. Doesn't matter. The answer is don't do it. So, once again, we strike with the angles of attack during Sinwalis, right hand and left hand. We don't want to bend our back. If we're going to go low, we want to make this more dynamic. We bend at the knees. That will eliminate the sore back issue. And if you got blown out knees, then just make sure you and your partner understand and you stand upright. Heck, you can even do it sitting in a chair and they can do all that fun stuff. All right. And those were your modern ace